If you are familiar with working in a 3D application such as 3ds Max or Maya, you already understand the concept of working in a 3D environment. But if you're someone who is not familiar with working in a 3D application, I want to spend a little bit of time in this video discussing how you view your different elements, how you view your 3D scene, how you navigate around in it inside of Smoke. By default, as we've already learned, when we go into the Action Tool, we have a two-view layout. One of them is going to be my schematic, and one of them is going to be the default camera, the end result of the Action Tool. You can have up to four views displayed at one time, and they can be orthographic or non-orthographic views, which allows you to look at your 3D scene from different angles. With this viewport on the left selected, for the viewing options, we see it reads Action Schematic. If I click on that, I expose all the different viewports that I possibly can look at. All these bottom ones, that start with the word action, are obviously action viewports. And many of them have flyouts that are offering you different options, depending upon if it's the analyzer having to do with your 3D tracking or the action 3D views. Here we can look at working, front view, side, top, and default camera. I'll leave this one set to the action schematic for right now. This viewing tab is relevant to any view that is currently selected. If I go back over here on the right hand side and click, I now select and highlight this viewport. Immediately you'll notice the viewing option reads output default camera. But once again, I can click on the flyout and there's all those same options. So this viewing flyout that we have here controls whatever view is currently selected and also make a note of the hotkeys that are associated with the different views. Your default camera is F4, your action schematic is escape, the 3D views are front, shift two, side, shift three, top, shift four, and working, shift F4. So let me discard my flyout, my options, and with this viewport, the default camera selected, I'll hit shift two, and now we're looking at the front view. You'll notice in the bottom right corner of the view, it's always telling you what view you are looking at. Shift three, I'm looking at the side view now. Shift four, we're now looking down, we're looking at the top view. Shift F4, now we're looking at what is called the working camera. If I hit F4 once again, I go back to my default camera. If we expand our tool options, you'll see we've got many options as to controlling the viewport and the camera. The dolly option, the orbit option, the roll option, the tilt, track camera. If you use any of these options, you are manipulating your actual camera when you're looking at the default camera view. For example, I'll choose the orbit tool. I'm looking at my default camera. If I click and drag, I am manipulating my actual camera. Let me undo that for a second. Let me click in this view over here and I'll hit shift four so we're looking down on the camera. Now watch what happens when I click and drag with my orbit tool over in this viewport. So you can see we are actually manipulating the camera. Command Z once again to undo that. If you want to orbit and move around your view without affecting your camera, you should be looking at what's called the working view. And remember, Shift F4 is that hotkey. Now you'll see in the lower right corner, it reads working. Now if I click and drag with my orbit tool in this viewport, you can see we are not affecting the camera. In the top view, we can tell nothing's happening to the camera, but we're still able to orbit around and view our 3D scene. Going back to the tools, you can see down below we have a zoom tool, we have a pan tool. These are gonna be used to manipulate the viewport. So if I click zoom, I now have the zoom tool. And I click and drag, I'm zooming in and out. I'll go back down and choose the pan tool. Now you'll see I have a little hand as my icon and I click and drag, I'm panning around. Well, there's a couple of hotkeys you can use to temporarily access these tools. Very common, this is how I work. Let me switch back to my select tool for right now. If I hold control and option, you'll see that my cursor turns into the zoom tool. I click and drag, I am zooming in and out. I release my hotkey of control option, and now I'm back to having just my select tool. If I hold control and command, I now have the pan tool. I can pan my view around and then release the hotkeys, and I'm back to having my select tool. That's true with any tool that you have, such as the orbit tool again. 
I hold control command, I'm panning, control option, I'm zooming, and then I'm back to having my orbit tool. Just remember that I'm in what's called the working view. You can see that where it says viewing and it's also available in the lower right corner. I'm emphasizing this because if I hit the F4 key once again, we're now looking at the default camera. And while actions such as zooming and panning will not alter your camera, the tools such as tilt, roll, orbit, and dolly, these will actually affect your camera. You can see again inside the viewport over here, the top viewport, that I am changing the actual parameter. Let me undo that zoom really quick and I'll hit Shift M to go back to my select tool. So as we mentioned in the beginning, we have our two view layout, which is the default. Right here next to the tools though, you have a flyout to control how many views you wanna look at. You can have up to four viewports at one time. I can choose one view. Now I just have one view, my schematic. Two views, back to what we had a second ago. I'll go to three views. Now I have three views all right in a row. I can do a three up split meaning I have one on the top and then two on the bottom. I can go to a four view. Now I have four different views. Now if I want to, I can come over to this view. I can leave this view looking at the connect effects schematic. I can select this view and I can hit the escape key. Now I'm looking at the action schematic. I can take this view, hold shift and hit the four key. Now I can zoom back. Now I'm looking down on my scene. And in this view, I can hit F4 which is going to be my actual end result of my camera view. Or if you want to look at your scene like you do working in a 3D application, I'll select this view up here. I'll hit Shift 2. I'm now looking at the front view. Or maybe I'll set that view to be Shift 3, meaning I'm looking at the side view. So as far as navigating and viewing your 3D scene, you have got a lot of options inside of Smoke. When you're working in the action tool, the 3D compositor, you wanna be able to view your scene from all different angles, view different elements of your scene, and also manipulate and control those viewports.